Grapple might just have the strangest release I've ever seen in the indie community. Whenever the game was showcased at a public event, it received a highly favorable reception from even big gaming journalist sites like IGN. And that's how I was even aware of this game. When I got my hands on the SGC 2014 demo, I was enjoying what I was playing, despite the tether mechanic took some time getting used to. Now the game is out, and the Steam store page is a desert wasteland, compared to what the hype had predicted the reception to be. And outside of Rock Paper Shotgun, I don't know of anyone who's reviewed Grapple. Well, does this game deserve it in my opinion? Well, no. Grapple is a fresh start on the return of the 3D platformer genre. You're a ball of goo with the ability to tether on walls in space. Your goal is to complete every level as fast as you possibly can. This game is incredibly simple by concept, but the execution will take some time getting used to. It's more of a case of easy to learn and hard to master. Don't be afraid to screw up, and normally it isn't your fault. When you do master the arts of tethering, it's fun to swiftly swing around space or even launch yourself with high velocity. Not all levels are like this, unfortunately, as there were a couple of stages where I felt like it was a continuous trial and error to the point of almost giving up on beating the game. Luckily, those segments are far and few in between, but they also prevent me from feeling encouraged at trying the speedrun mode, which involves going through all 80 stages as fast as you can. Each stage contains hidden collectibles that you can try to nab, but I never understood why you need to collect them. The presentation is a beauty to behold, in the deep mist of space. The simple, vibrant colors that light up whenever you touch a platform brings a sense of joy that's supported by a wacky tutorial guide that makes stick figure animations temporarily acceptable again. The music is relaxing and catchy, another high note to a flawless presentation. Grapple has issues, its difficulty spikes and forgettable collectibles makes it hard to recommend to some 3D platformer fans. And while you can play a time trial mode to race yourself against the levels that you love, I did end up getting tired of the post-ending content after a few runs. Still, for the price of admission, it's a good platformer that you'll sink a decent amount of hours into, even if once you beat the game, you aren't left with a lot of reasons for coming back.